is in Paris for us this morning. Why did the turnout so low, Paul? Uh, the turnout so low because uh, there are a lot of people who can't make that choice uh, between uh, Macron or Le Pen. A very good morning to you from uh, Paris and and Stephen. We thought you'd give us a shot of the Eiffel Tower there. Much better than looking at my face, quite frankly. Paris looking beautiful. Waking up with 36 hours uh, to go until uh, the French go to the polls in that second round uh, tomorrow. And uh, you mentioned the polls there. They haven't really shifted over the past few days. Um, the average polling puts Macron about 10 points ahead of uh, Le Pen. Uh, the big key will be, what, 7.7 .7 million voters who voted for Jean-Luc Mélenchon, the far-left candidate in the first round, where their votes go. He came third, just behind uh, Le Pen. So where those people put their votes tomorrow night will go a long way to securing Macron's uh, second term as president. Uh, no French president has done that since 2007, by the way, been re-elected. Uh, so, you know, where those 7.7 .7 million votes go will be key. Will they abstain? Will they spoil their ballot? Because a lot of those people who voted for Jean-Luc Mélenchon, the far-left candidate, they're not fans of Emmanuel Macron. He may be socially liberal, but he is pro-business. He is economically right-wing. One of his major flagship policies he's had to water down in the last few days. He wants to raise the pension age here in France to 65. Uh, that has made a lot of people very unhappy. The pension age at the moment, 62. So he said, OK, maybe we can raise it to 64. Maybe we can find a halfway house. So, you know, I'm listening to voters. That's what he's saying he's doing. Uh, he's trying to fight off Marine Le Pen, who was out in Pas de Calais campaigning yesterday, the final day of campaigning. That's where uh, a lot of her base support is. Um, she said the French with Emmanuel Macron will end up with life, as in with a life of working. That's what she says Emmanuel Macron wants to do. He wants to put the French to work for the rest of their lives. Uh, this reform of Emmanuel Macron is a deep social injustice, she said. Uh, the French president, though, he was in a place called Fijac in the south of France. Uh, he said the far right lives off fear and anger, uh, creating resentment. It says that excluding parts of society is the answer. And Stephen, you mentioned why are so many people uh, possibly going to abstain, that they're not going to vote, that turnover, uh, that voter turnout could be low. Uh, this is what Macron said to French TV. He said, there are millions of people who are thinking only a few hours a day before the Brexit referendum or before Donald Trump's uh, election. Why would we go? And then they woke up the next day with a hangover. So his message to the French electorate is don't be complacent. If you don't go out and vote, then Marine Le Pen could win. Effectively, his message is, you know, uh, I'm listening. I'm going to try and make the changes I want to over the next five years, but I'm not the other candidate.